that has sort of become who she is over time. However, after being exposed to these good influences, she's able to let that guard down a little bit, and she's able to actually take the time to figure out who she is, what she likes, who she actually wants to be, other than this shell that she's constructed for herself. <laughs> um, how was it on set with the four of you girls? Did you bond instantly? Did you have group chats? How was that? <laughs> Here's the thing. Okay, so we all booked the roles. We knew who everybody else was going to be. But they asked us not to talk and to DM and text each other before we actually met in person. Oh, so that we could be like our characters. So I knew who they were for like four months. And then I kind of broke the rule. The night, <laughs> the night before we were about to meet, I texted, I'm so excited to meet you tomorrow. And we had the time when we didn't do anything that was supposed to be. I'm happy to meet them tomorrow. And um, then we just, um, once we met, I feel like we clicked instantly. And because we bonded over our shared experiences. And then we went and got ice cream. And we did escape rooms. And we did things to attack to bond further throughout the and even just, even just with filming, being in a scene where we're all running and cramped in tight spaces and stuff, it was like an apocalypse boot camp, and we were kind of forced to get to know each other, <laughs> whether we liked it or not. <laughs> How is diversity inclusion carried the paperless series and graphic novels? I would say it's, it's, it's sort of one of the main threads in this huge yarn ball of stuff that's happening. I mean, you have these four paper girls, which I, I can't call a, a, another show about or a movie or anything in which features paper girls, you know, and each one of them comes from very different backgrounds. So, yeah, what would you say to that? I would say that the show is very diverse and very inclusive. I think no matter who you are, there's representation in it for you. Like, there's female representation. We have four female directors. There's female writers. There, there's very heavy female influence on this project. And also, for there's a lot of race representation in here as well mm -hmm. and diversity. So, like, I'll say it again. <laughs> Whoever you are, I think there's a piece of this show this is a bit of maybe a bit of a difficult question on stage they talked about like the queer storyline for KJ they didn't really talk about Max's side of that and obviously in the comics um, the big thread of the character is like the internalized like homophobia and that she's quite homophobic I don't know how much um, I, well, this first season gets into that but like how did you feel uh, like about I guess like going through that journey with her or knowing that that journey is to come because you know you're going to assume that you know you wouldn't have agreed with that, you know, that take for her. So where, yeah, just how did that, how did you kind of feel when you knew you had to approach that angle um, of that queer story? Right, well, I would say that Mac is definitely, she has, she has a lot to work on at the beginning of the series. We see she has backwards opinion on just about everything. She has 
a lot. Of, she's quite aggressive in nature at the beginning. And I would say for approaching any of those plot lines, just understanding who she is as a person and and just letting it affect her all, just letting it affect you in the moment in the scene, you know? Yeah. I, I think as far as um, Max sexual orientation, maybe that's more of a question for one of the showrunners as far as the depiction in the series, but yeah. I absolutely love her journey in the comic book yeah. series. I think it's beautiful. I'm really, I'm really honored to have been put in my hands such delicate and stunning material. Fair enough. Now, in the series, and I watched all eight episodes again the other day, uh, the girls have, um, <laughs> all of them. Yeah. And how did you feel as actors and saying also at your young age and how did parents feel? They're using that type of language. Um, I would definitely say Sophia had it the worst with the potty mouth. <laughs> but um, I feel like I don't really cuss. I don't Me either. I think I, I feel no need for it. Um, but Tiff does when she feels like, okay, let's make an impact, this is needed, or if she just thinks it's fun. Because I mean, it's fun. You go through that thing where you think cussing is cool, and I think she's at that right now. Uh, my parents, we had to ad lib a lot on set sometimes. So my mom would be like, when you ad lib, I don't want to hear any extra cuss words, I don't want to hear any extra, don't throw an F word in there, better not throw an F word in there. <laughs> so it, there's a lot of that, but I would say, the writers were amazing, and I think all the cuss words really made were very well placed. In <laughs> Actually, as far as cursing goes, when I got the audition, I was at my grandfather's house, and to say the least, he's not a huge fan of bad language. <laughs> and so I remember the uh, during the audition, I was trying to keep it as quiet as possible, approaching those words just as quiet. But, um, but it's interesting because with Matt, at the beginning of the series, she uses a, a lot of bad language. And it's funny because if you're really if you're really looking towards the end of it, end of the first season, you see it slowly starts to disappear a little bit more. She's not using it as a crutch as much. What would you tell kids about living in the 1980s? Tell kids about the 1980s. Kids, you're 12 year olds now because you've lived in the past now through your thing. What would you say about the 1980s? I would say it wasn't all great, but they did have, but they did have good music, uh, good movies. Like the music was really good in the eighties, and I really do like. Yeah, I would probably say the same thing. Don't mistake nostalgia for all that the eighties was. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you.